Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here, and welcome back to Georgetown, New York. Um, look at this. Elf Alpha. What? Yeah, the Elf Alpha's up. L seriously, look how tall it is. I had no idea. Uh, I had no idea it was going to be this tall. This is the grass field over here we're going to compare it to. We cut grass here. Cut Elf Alpha here. Grass, Elf Alpha. We're going to see what we get uh, some better yield off of. Maybe we'll... I don't know what alfalfa does yet. I don't know if it's going to stay in the ground and, re, and regrow afterwards. Uh, this could be interesting. So, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to expect from this. I am I mean, we're pushing some boundaries as far as our animals go. I want to make sure we get enough food for them, of course. So, this is going to be alfalfa. They've got grass there. It's going to turn into hay, grass hay, and alfalfa hay. Is that a thing? Alfalfa hay? I think that's a thing. So, we got to cut it all. Knock it down. We'll get that massive windrower out. We'll windrow it back up and we're going to load it back up into that silo. I think it's good though. It's all ready to go. Everything else is still growing. Last little bits. It looks like they're barley and wheat fields right there, but the alfalfa is ready to go, folks. I think it's alfalfa time. <laughs> is that, that's not that time. Let's just do some cutting. Let's go to work. Bitter batter. <laughs> all right, guys. Time to uh, we'll cut some hay. Great day for hay. Look at this. 27 degrees Celsius. Middle of summer. It's looking pretty good out here. A little bit of haze off in the mountains on the side there. But uh, guys, we've got to decide what we're going to do here. I think we'll use the John Deere. i got to clean this, these bales out. Like, it's just making a mess for me pushing bales around in here. Uh, close this door back up. There we go. So we've got the Veltra and we got the John Deere. These are, these are our two main tractors. The Veltra, man, this thing. I am so impressed with the Veltra, folks. This thing has been doing such, such a good job, and it looks really good too with these big meaty tires on. Uh, you can't go wrong with this thing. But John Deere today, we'll be using this John Deere, the six series. It's the the, the big one though. Um, to cut some grass, I think, because I don't know if the uh, the Veltra should be able to handle it. But we need to get the, the John Deere in the field. Uh, we'll probably use the Veltra to windrow. Yeah, most likely. I think that'll be the plan. We'll use that thing to windrow everything up. But today we're just cutting grass. Now, is there? Trying to find a way to maybe cut grass and windrow at the same time. But I think we need to hire Gertie back. And I, I don't know if I'm really ready to have Gertie back out here, guys. I think I need a, a little bit of a break from Gertie. Um, I think she can stay and relax for a bit. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Maybe we'll get her to come help us put that star on the roof. That might be uh, something we do. We, we got to put that thing up there. We need to get something to load it up with. But uh, ooh, crash. Crash counter. That was best driver in Farm Sim. Um, oh, really? <laughs> I'm just, just gonna, oh, it's the, that's why I've got the mower on the front. I forgot I put that up there. <laughs> uh, never mind me. Anyways, we gotta get out of that field. We're gonna cut that alfalfa, the grass up, make some hay, and we'll see. I have no idea what to expect as far as our yield goes, guys. Can can the alfalfa double up what the hay that we get off that regular grass field? I don't know. I really don't know what to expect off that. I really hope it does because. It's going to be touch and go right now. If those those measurements for food for our cattle are anything accurate, it's going to be really tough to uh, to make ends meet right now as soon as we start, well, getting more cattle. Uh, we have enough for what we have right now, but I think like we hit 300 heads of cow, uh, 300 heads of cattle, we're going to be in some serious trouble here. And that'll happen like within the year at the rate we're going, folks. So, oh, you know what? I forgot to put these on. Hazard's on. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, so we'll have to really see what happens here, but if the alfalfa is more profitable, maybe we'll knock the rest of that grass down and just put alfalfa there. I don't know. I just don't know if it regrows or not yet. We'll have to wait and see. Speaking of haying, it looks like Whammer's been busy doing a little bit of haying over here inside. Nice. Oh, look at that setup he's got. He's got, he's got the same windrower I do. Man, they must have been blowing those things out. He's got that large telescopic windrower, and then he's, that's a good idea. Look at that. And he's got a wagon attached to the back of it. That's not bad. If I could afford a wagon right now, that would be a good way to go. But we're still stuck with that old new haul or that John Deere uh, bailed or hay tosser. That is the only way we can really do things right now. We'll see. I've got a plan to help us make things a little bit quicker, but um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Anyways, here we are, folks. Let's uh, get prepped up and turn all our lights off here. We don't need these in this field. That'll be a bit much. Open this up, drop this down. Man. So, I think we'll just start off with the grass field. I'll cut this all up. And then we'll get the alfalfa afterwards. I think that'll be the plan for now. Yeah. Fire that up. Fire that up. 
Let's go into the field. Oh man, all right. Lots of grass. Get right up against the roadway here. And let's do some loopy loops. Up and away, up and away we go. Uh, I was actually kind of expecting to be doing the uh, barley and wheat today, guys. I was, was not really re expecting the grass to be quite ready. I mean, we could have done this grass beforehand. The alfalfa, mind you, was not ready. But I thought we could have been in this field doing the grass sooner. But that's all right. You know what? It, it works out well. We'll get it done early. And that looks like we're getting a good yield off this grass. I don't know how the alfalfa is going to gonna fare against this, guys. Look at that. That looks like it's a decent yield to me. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Time will tell. Now, once again, this field is probably two-thirds bigger. It's well, two-thirds the size of the alfalfa. So uh, take that into account when we do our measurements later on. All right. Let's see if I can just cut around here. I would like to try to leave the alfalfa alone and separate these just for our measurement purposes. That's all. I don't know how I'm going to do this once we go to load it up. I just hope it's obvious which one's alfalfa and which one's grass. But uh, we'll see. I will tell. All right, be careful here. Let's not pull a Gertie and put this thing into the crick. But yeah, let's not do that. Oh, man. Nice and close. Up the hill we go. Come on, get up there. Oh, man, look at that tilt. Yikes. Oh, man. Get on up. Come on. Nice. There we go. All good, all good, all good. All right, folks, we'll keep on doing this. All right, guys, last couple passes, and I almost put this in the drink like twice. Uh, we almost girdied this thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to... Uh, well, anyways, we're good. We didn't do it, so um, everything was good. I just managed to slide a little bit there. That's all right. It's okay. It looks good there. We'll spin this bad boy around, get this last little bit. And then, folks, it's Elf Alpha time. We'll see what we get for Elf Alpha. Curious to see. It should be good. I'm hoping that this yield is like twice of this. I really hope it is. I hope it's like crazy amounts of grass or alfalfa technically, I guess. All right. Let's get busy chopping. Drop this. Drop that. Nope. I'm putting the wrong one down. There we go. All right. In we go. Uh, I think this looks good. Nice. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, man. Look how thick this is so thick look at that that is ridiculous how thick that is oh look at that look at the color of it interesting okay so awfully dark um <laughs> look at the tracker the john deere is so deep in this elf alpha guys that is craziness look at that so we'll have to see what this is going to turn into uh if this i can't really tell I cannot really tell, guys. Just judging by, like, the size of the uh, the rows that are coming off this. It looks very similar to the hay, the grass that we were cutting earlier. That's interesting. Um, I don't know what to think of it. Look at that, the alfalfa, like, just the way we're cutting it across. Definitely a little bit different. All right, so we get across here. Try to stay in the field as much as we can. I don't want to get hay and mixed up in this. I don't, I don't know if it's going to matter. What if hay gets mixed up with this? Does that cause an issue? I have no idea. Um, looks good, though. That's a lot of hay. Or a lot of alfalfa. We'll see what happens when it turns to hay, I guess. I almost totally forgot to check the forecast, but we lucked out. We've got sunny days for the next, like, three days. So, um, not worried about that, at least. It should dry out fairly quickly out here. But, man, I was worried for that for a second. I'm like, uh, is there going to be, like, rain tonight? That's my luck, right? Turns into rain, like, that night. Of course. No, it's we're good. We're good. We're good. It's all sun for the foreseeable future. So we should be uh, able to pick this up sooner than later, to be honest. Take this back to the farm. Um, I keep on getting lost in here with this. This is crazy how thick this is. Like, it's just... It's like a big lush carpet you're going through. Look at this. Diving in. Diving in. Just make sure we got enough there. Um, yeah, it's just so thick. Like, look at this. That's crazy. Uh, it looks so good, though. Um, it's pretty satisfying to cut this stuff down too, just because you're just nailing so much of this stuff, like big stalks. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying, guys. Look at that. <laughs> just cutting her down. Uh, a couple more passes left, and we'll be done with the alfalfa. May want to uh, we'll consider windrowing this a little later on. We'll let this dry out. But there's a couple other things I wanted to take care of. Now, I've got some potatoes that have come up. We've got one bag of potatoes. I wanted to see if we can get rid of those. Now, I've got an idea. We'll go take a look in a bit here. Last pass. 
Drop this in, and there we go. Oh, I missed a little bit there. Let's back that up for that last little bit, just to say we got it all. How did I go through everything and just miss like this last little piece? There we go. Shut all this down. Lift that up, pull that away, lift that up, pull that away. There we go. He's coming up. Perfect. All right, guys, so grass versus elf alpha. Oh, man, I have no idea what to expect here. The grass looks like it got more of a yield to me. Um, I can see that one corner up there. That looks like we got more alfalfa there, but I just if you look down through this section here, guys, this does not look like it's all that thick. It looks really quite, like, quite thin. But meanwhile, if you go up here, this looks thick. But would we have grabbed some grass with this, maybe? I really don't know what to expect from this alfalfa. It... it it doesn't look good right now. I'm, I'm saying it looks like it's a lot less. We'll have to wait and see. We're not going to find out until we uh, get it later on, guys. It's not going to be until we hay it and pick it up uh, for now. We're just going to have to sit and wait. Sitting and waiting. Waiting and sitting. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, uh, potatoes. Let's talk potatoes. So our greenhouse, it's got our first bag of potatoes out. Now, I would normally wait till we had a whole bunch of stuff. There's no point in one bag of potatoes, but... Uh, I'm kind of curious about prices and what our options are now. We've got a chip factory just down the street. I was going to go see if I could take a bag of potatoes to them if they wanted some fresh potatoes just to throw in their bin. What are they going to give us for a bag of potatoes? I mean, really. It's a, it's a bag of potatoes. What can they possibly give us? Let's go sell some potatoes. Let's go find out. All right, we'll give the, uh, the mower a quick scrub here in a second, but uh, this can wait. No rush on this. I promise. I clean it. I know you guys giving me heck every time for not cleaning this. We'll we'll get her done. Don't worry. Let's go take a look at the greenhouse. Uh, we'll take the truck over. Oh, I don't have a bed for that. Um, I think there's only one bag. We could take the trailer. That seems like over. Oh, let's just take the truck. I'll throw it in the cab if I have to. So the potatoes were originally my thought was for the pigs, but yeah, I, I totally forgot, guys, that we don't need potatoes for pigs out here. So uh, that's new to me. I just totally forgot about it. So potatoes now are just, well, they're a profit crop. That is it. Now, how much can we possibly profit off a little bit of potatoes from this little thing? Uh, we've gone ahead and filled this up with manure and we're good with water. Water is pretty easy to come by, at least now. So we just fill this up with water whenever we have a chance. Some manure goes in there, of course. Let's see what we got. Uh, 104 pounds. We got lots of manure and water ready to go, guys. It's just potatoes we're waiting on now. And you can see as well, we get some potatoes, they just kind of get thrown in this bag. So we come and pick them up, throw them in the bag, and we're good to go. So we've got one full bag of potatoes here. Um, 500 liters of potatoes. That's something. I mean, it's not nothing. Let's just, can I just put it back here? Can I, oh, I can strap that down. Perfect. <laughs> we'll strap down our bag of potatoes. Let's close this up and uh, we're going to go see what we can get for 500 liters. Liters? Is it 500 liters of potatoes? I think it's 500 liters. Is that? Yeah, 500 liters of potatoes. Let's go see what the chip factory is going to give us for 500 liters of potatoes. So the potato chip plant is up in the hills here a little bit. It's actually in behind uh, these fields we were working on contract just the other day. Yeah, they're just on the far back side here. And uh, yeah, basically before you head up into the hills, on the far side, that's where you're gonna find it. So we're gonna head up that way, take a quick look around, uh, see if there, if we can sell more potatoes to them. I don't know what their expectations are. Like I said, we're not gonna get a ton of potatoes off that, but we're gonna get some, and some is better than nothing, I suppose. But I don't know what what, what would their deal. I mean, they're gonna they need so many potatoes. Like they would, we should really be. If we wanted to sell potatoes full time to them. We'd probably have to take over a whole field and really dedicate ourselves to that. But just one, one at a time. Do you think they're going to take one bag at a time? I'm sure they will, right? I don't know. We'll see. Mm, stopping. Anybody coming? No, oh, no one coming. We're out in the middle of nowhere here, it feels like. Uh, all the way up to the top. So, like I said, just up the top, there should be the tracks up here, actually. And this is where uh, we'll get into the woods here. The other day got stuck, if you don't remember that. Uh, this should be it right here. This is the, yeah, right here. This is the factories. All right. Uh, I think this is compost over on our left. I have no idea what that is in front of us. And I think we're down this way here. Yeah, there we go. You can see the, that looks like it right down at the very end. Oh, she's a little rough in here. Careful. Wait a minute. How do, how do I get there? Where the heck am I? Um, I need to get on that road. 
Oh, I, I missed the turn. All right. Um, I don't know where we're at right now. Interesting. All right, let's spin around and we'll go back on the right road. I don't know where the heck I am. There we go. Uh, the Frito Lays building right there. Um, I guess we can weigh in. <laughs> Should we bother? We're waiting with the one bag of potatoes. <laughs> I guess. Uh, all right, we're 212. Remember that. 212. What's, what a bag of potatoes gonna do? I'm gonna see if that moves. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna laugh. That's gonna be funny. All right, let me go inside and uh, we'll drop off this bag of potatoes here, guys. <laughs> Free delays. Uh, so I made a uh, 122 bucks from our bag of potatoes. 122 dollars. Uh, that's kind of funny. I guess I'm buying a steak sandwich tonight. That's all I can say. Uh, let's go check and see what our weight is. I gotta see what our weight is. What's the difference gonna be? Is it gonna be any change? <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 212. Nope, no change. I didn't think so. Does this one change over here too? That one says 800. I don't know which one's right anymore. I think they're maybe they're both wrong. Um, that's funny. So, <laughs> 120 some odd bucks. Is that what I said it was? Um, we're going to need a lot of potatoes if we're going to want to make any kind of a profit off that, guys. I think we're going to need about another dozen greenhouses if we're going to go too crazy with that. That's kind of funny. 100 bucks, 150 bucks, or whatever it is for one bag of potatoes. I guess I don't know what I expected there, but that's kind of funny. So I just realized after bringing our potatoes back that, well, the rest of our grass fields, they're ready to be cut as well. So I've got this grass field right here again, and the big one over on the far side by our cornfield. That's ready to go as well. I should have been over there. I just, just should have just cut it while I was over there. It's all right. We got time today. Only 12 o'clock. I mean, I got I got some lunch money now from our potatoes. <laughs> what am I going to do with 120 bucks? Uh, that's funny. Oh, and yeah, I just noticed this. There was a rack out in front of Pops here as well. Yeah, someone decided to run that stop sign. Gertie, looking at you. Uh, I don't think Gertie owns a Prius, but it still doesn't look very good. Looks like a bit of trouble down there. Hope it's all right. <laughs> uh, we still got a lot of work left to do on this field. It's going to take us a little bit of time on this one here. And then we'll pop over do the big field on the far side as well. Get this all cut. So hopefully everything will be ready to be as be picked up as hay at the same time. Is kind of what I'm hoping for. We can get it all done. And that should be, well, the end of... I don't know if we'll get another grass cut off this or not. What do you guys think? I mean, it's midsummer right now. Will this grow in time in the fall? And will we be able to grab another bit of hay off this? I don't know. I'm tempted... Oh, man, I'd really like to get some silage, guys. But I'm so scared that I don't have enough. Um, maybe I'll pick this this stuff up here. I don't know. We could pick this up and throw this in the silage bed. Huh. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. I, do, I would love to get some TMR going. I'd love to maximize that if I can, but I don't know if we're ready or not yet. But maybe. Maybe we'll do it. Yeah, maybe. All right, field's done. Let's silage this. You know what? I'm going to risk it. It's going to be a bit of a risk, uh, but I think it'll be worthwhile. I'm going to drop this stuff off, and we're going to go grab all our pickup equipment, and we're going to toss this right into that silage pit right there right now. We'll see how this works out, guys. I, I think I might do this with this field and then maybe with the large field as well, and I'm going to really hope that we get another crop off this before the end of the fall. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's worth a shot. And this also got me thinking about, well, why not be completely ridiculous and see if we can do this all at once since we're using this ridiculous wind rower. Um, you know what? Let's use it to its full capabilities. Wind rowing up front. <laughs> hey, pick it up in the back. Let's get some silage going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sure hope this tractor can handle this. Drop that down. Turn this on. Drop it down as well. This doesn't get any more ridiculous, does it? This is craziness. Let's go. Oh, no. It can't handle it. One mile an hour. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not going to work anyways. Ah, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I just realized that we're on a side pickup. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. That's too bad. I really hoped it would. Um, all right. Well, whatever. We can just drop that there for now. I'll just windrow this. 
We should get a loading wagon. Do what Whammer was doing. I was thinking we could do the pickup, but it's got to be off the side then, and that's just not going to work. That's too bad. That would have been hilarious. Um, you know what? I'm still happy. I'm, I'm still fine. We'll windrow this one. We'll head over to the far side and windrow the other one as well and pick this up. I might throw this all in the silage pit, guys. We'll pack this down tomorrow, maybe. But uh, that's a good way of getting some silage pretty quickly, I think. And I'm just, like I said, as long as if this can grow up before the end of the fall, we can get another 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 harvest off this grass, then we should be okay. I won't have to buy. And if I have to buy, I have to buy. It is what it is. Anyways, I think we're looking good. All right, we did it the same way as last time. Everything's been cut. Let's uh, level this back up and get this over to the silage pit. That should be just fine. So like I said, we'll load all this grass that we're getting up in the silage pit, guys. And we'll make some silage out of it. This is, like I said, a bit of a risk. I think we're going to be okay, though. I think it's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. It should be good. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today from Georgetown. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always. Uh, if you get, you guys don't need to slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. And folks, uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. But looks like that accident cleared up. That's good to see. That's good to see. They got out of there. It wasn't too, too long. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that Georgetown traffic. Uh, yeah, sketchy. Anyways, we made 120 bucks today on potatoes. I'm gonna go buy a steak here in a bit and a little steak sani, I think. We'll get a steak sani in ya. And uh, yeah, folks, we'll see you next time. Have a good day, folks. See you then. This is Clutch. Over and out.